your Bibles and get them. Just repeat it after me. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am. I am. What it says I am. This book calls me an overcomer. This book calls me an overcomer. That's who I am. That's who I am. Today I shall be taught. Today I shall be taught. Infallible. Infallible. Unchanging. Unchanging. Word of God. Word of God. So my mind is alert. So my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. My heart is receptive. As I gladly receive. As I gladly receive. The word today. The word today. Thank you for your presence among us. Thank we thank you for our, our faith. We thank you for times of sharing. We thank you for what you're going to minister in this time. A word of hope and a word of firmness. A word that keeps us solidly planted. And we thank you, God, that we are the church. We acknowledge who we are. We acknowledge what we have. And we do have grace to stay. We have supernatural power yeah. to stand. And so we thank you for that in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, let the word of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And they all said, Amen. 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 Today I want to talk to you about calming grace. Calming grace. And, and there is a word of the Lord for you. And it came by way of uh, Bishop Garlington, and he, and and then then I have one that that the Lord just impressed upon me in in study, and and it, his word was, it, in in, is that this is not the time for believers to fret or be foolish, as God is up to something good <laughs> during this time. Yes, God is a healer. And this will be done for his glory and yes. honor. Yes. We are to listen to the word of God. And then Bishop further share during Passover, which is what we're entering just the, the time before Easter, uh, God will be disseminated. And that word disseminated means spread out over our lives. Things will be revealed that we did not know about, both good and bad. Pray. Encourage each other through all social media. The church is in warfare. Yes. Yes. This past, while he shared this message, he shared a little story. And that was, there was an evangelist and a friend that was set to run a meeting. Well, they, they greatly dared the meeting down to the point that they had to cancel. And she decided that, that she said, I'm not done. And she said, God is still sent me to do anything. And so, Every hospital where there was COVID-19 and coronavirus patients, she went in and started laying hands on them and praying for them. And they got healed. I didn't get a lot of amen. Amen, yes. But she didn't do it first. Jesus did. Amen, amen. yes, yes, yes was somebody with leprosy. Yeah. Now, it wasn't six feet apart from them. You had to be a ways and holler unclean. Yes. So Jesus is our example and stuff. Now, 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 only do it as you have faith for it. Because if you don't believe, it won't work for anybody else. Does that make sense? Amen. 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 And, and the word that I received is that, that it is usually a disease about, I heard the word pestilence. And the word pestilence kept, kept following me because I had read it so many times in scripture, especially Psalms 91. And, 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 and pestilence is translated plague or disaster. It is usually a disease that affects entire communities and is virulent strong and forceful and devastating. That's what we have is, is a biblical pestilence that is in the land. Yes. And then, then I was impressed with Habakkuk 3, 5 and then 18 through 19 in the message it says this. 
plague marches before him and pestilence at his feet. Talking about the Lord. Then 18 says, I'm singing joyful praise to God. I'm turning cartwheels of joy to my Savior God. This is the message. Counting on God's rule to prevail. Mm -hmm. Counting on God's rule to prevail. Mm -hmm. I take heart and gain strength. I run like a deer. I feel like I'm king of the mountain because I'm taking on God's rule to prevail. I'm counting on God's rule to prevail. How many of you counting on his rule? Amen. 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 And so that's the one I got. And then Psalm 91 is my favorite scripture of all time. Five and six says, you shall not be afraid for the terror by night, Amen. nor of the arrow that flieth by day. Nor for the pestilence that wastes that noonday. Nor for the destruction that lays waste. Nor for the, for the pestilence that walks in darkness. Nor for the destruction that lays waste at noonday. So, so the, the bottom line is what Habakkuk said and what, what the psalmist said is that God is still ruling. Yes, yes. yes he is. Yes. And in spite of what's walking at noonday and at night, God is still over all. How many you believe that today? Amen. He's over it all. Amen? Amen? And so, this is a clear word to us. And it's, it, it, it was a comforting word for me to hear Bishop say what he said. And then when I got those two, two scriptures in my heart, and I just started laying into that. And, and, and everything around you want to make you fret. Mm -hmm. Each day we hear numbers of more and more people that have died. Yeah. Yeah. That is a fretful thing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Are you listening at me? Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 Now, I want to say this as I move into the remainder of the lesson. God is not a child abuser. Turn to somebody and tell them that God is not a child abuser. <laughs> It is the power, again, grace is the power of God to go beyond our weakness and, 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 and utilize his strength. Jesus was clear about where he received his authority to operate from. And through him, we get the example. John 8, 28. Find it real quickly though. We just gonna run through. John 8 28. And it said there, then Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will you will know that I am He, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father taught me, I speak them, I speak. These things. He said, I, I do nothing of myself, but whatever the Father does, I do. Amen. Amen. And so whatever Jesus did, we do. Mm -hmm. Do you have to ask? Yes. Let's go to another story. Following a long day of teaching the multitudes, Jesus was exhausted. Evening had come, and so he was on one side of Galilee after, after, after ministering and, 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 and feeding the multitude. He was on one side of Galilee but he, with his disciples on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. And there was a boat there, one of their boats. And so he instructed them to get into the boat. He instructed them to get in the boat. They were on one side of the, of, of the sea and he instructed them to get in the boat. Uh, and and as I as I look at the scripture, Luke eight twenty two and twenty five says this, and this is a, a, a the whole story. It says, now it happened on a certain day that he got into the boat with his disciples. What did he do? Get on the boat with the disciples. Mm -hmm. He's in the boat with you. Yeah. Yeah. He got on the boat with the disciples. And 
And he said to them. Everybody say, he said to them. Here is a key line. Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. Let's say that together. Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. Say it again. Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And a windstorm came down on the lake. And, and, and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Now this is Luke's account. And it's one of a synoptic gospel, which means that it's in Mark, Luke, and Matthew. But this is, is Luke's account. And it said, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was calm. But he said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, who can this be? For he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him. See, they were marveled at one thing, but Jesus was marveling at something about them. And the thing that caused him to marvel is that they had no faith. Let, let's go back through it again because we're, we're going to unpack it. A storm came up. Let's see who was in the boat. They were skilled seamen. They were fishermen. They had encountered storms before. This wasn't their first storm. But, then, but every now and then, something comes along in life that ain't like nothing else. Amen. Amen. That's what's on us now. Amen. 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 Nothing has ever shut America down before. Yeah. <laughs> but this has. Yeah. And we've come through storms before. We've come through pestilence before. There's been SARS. There's been Ebola. There's been threats from, from in, uh, H1N1. All these kind of things. Uh, AIDS. All of those kind of things. Everything. Uh, but we survive. Yes. 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 And I think in the survival, we got a little lax and think that we were impervious to anything touching us. Mm -hmm. But they didn't know the devil says, I can, I can let something from the micro world into the, the, your world that will shut everything down. <clears throat> and what has happened, something else different hit the boat that day. <laughs> to the point that people that were skilled at handling other tumultuous situations got nervous. Yep. And, and, and they got nervous and they started saying, we tore up and he's laying here asleep. <laughs> yes. And you know what? The, the language is cute there. It said, carousel not that we perish. No, that ain't what you said. <laughs> Get up, Jesus. Don't you know we about to die? And that's what happens when people walk in fear and fret. Jesus got up at their command, rebuked the storm, and the other account said, he said, peace be still. That's what he, said. he didn't speak to the water. He spoke to peace. Yes. Because <laughs> peace is what was on right. Right. Jesus always knows the real root of the problem. It wasn't the water. It was who was troubling the water. And so he commanded what he wanted to take care of what he needed. Yeah. 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 He yeah. said, peace, peace. Yeah. Yeah. Straight now. And after that, he looked around at those skilled fishermen. And he, 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 he kind of he talked to them. He kind of talked to them. 
because he had to talk to them. Because they were in, 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 in personally, they were conflicted. They were in a tight situation. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and like it or not, we in a tight situation. Yeah. And there's a Greek word for that situation. <laughs> it's called uh, uh, thalipsis. T-H-L. I-P. S-I-S. Thalipsis. It's kind of hard to say. I had to practice it. And if you have an iPad or iPhone, when you go to certain dictionaries and things, you can, in pronunciation there, you can touch it and then pronounce it for you. So you won't get up and say, Dilo Babashita. You'll say Thalipsis. Amen. Amen. Do I need to spell it again? T H L I S I S Greek. The lips is pressure in a tight place. Additionally, it is oppression, affliction, tribulation, or distress. When I read that, I said, "No, nah, this is all of it." So they were in a thalipsis because of what was happening with that struggle. Mm -hmm. Then they woke Jesus up. But I want to tell you something, that there is a few people that knew, a few entities that knew this storm was coming. And, 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 and the number one entity that knew this storm was coming was the Holy Spirit. And God was the second entity that knew this storm was coming. He knows everything. Yes, yes. Uh, Isaiah 46 and 10 from the NLT, New Living Translation says, Only I can tell you what is going to happen even before it happens. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. So anything you're going through, he already knew it was coming. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Because he knows the ending from the beginning. All right, yes, sir. Now. Yes, sir. So it might be a shock to you, but it doesn't take him off of his, it, it knock him off his tree. Yes. Because he already knows what's coming. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad he knows. That's right. Amen. 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 Mark 4 and 40 tells us something. After he calmed the storm and <clears throat> they start bailing water out. <laughs> Mark 4 and 40, the other account says this. That Jesus said, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Now somebody might say, what's the matter with you, Jesus? They were upset. They were tore up. And, 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 and you, you spanking them and they, they hurt me. Because sometimes we don't think we ought to get spanked when we're in a tight situation. All right. Don't you see I'm, I'm upset? So? You have a toothache, the doctor don't mind upsetting you a little bit more mm -hmm. to help you. Yeah. And so he had to help them in a place beyond their immediate ellipsis. <laughs> beyond their tight place. So that they would believe in the future. Yeah. See, sometimes your pain comes to stop you, mm. but 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 he's coming to increase your faith for the future. Yeah. Mm. The reason why Jesus spanked them is because did I not say something to you? Yeah. What did I say to you? What, what did I say to you? He did not say that we were going to go to the middle of the lake of Galilee or the sea of Galilee and sink. He did not say that. Yes. Say it was not going to be a storm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he did not say that you wouldn't be troubled yeah, yeah, right. in this life. He did not say that it wouldn't get so pressurized and so anxiety producing. But he did say this to them. He said, get in the boat so we can go to the other side. Yes. So if he said we're going to 
going to go to the other side, standing on the shore where there was no storm, there was no rocking boat, there was no boat filling up with water. Why is it that in the middle of the storm, you didn't remember what he told you before the storm happened? Yeah. Yep. Because you don't have faith. Mm. I will not say not look at your phone while I'm Forever. Mm -hmm. 
You thought you couldn't. Anybody been in something you thought you weren't going to make it out? You were right in the midst. You said, oh my God. Amen. And you know what you were doing? You were praying for relief in the middle of that time. Lord, Lord, just let me get on the other side. It's life in the boat. And, and, and I want to tell you that, that, that before the boat could sail on, again, they were, they were in the boat. The storm had stopped, but they were still in the about to sing. <laughs> you know why they were about to sing? Because some of the storm was in the boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and sometimes we invite the storm in the boat. Mm -hmm. And we let it stay. So they had to bail so they could get to the other side. So they would bail a little bit so they could, could roll the boat on it up to where it needed to be. Why sell it off? There's ministry waiting on the other side of, those, of your storm. There's ministry waiting on the other side of this storm. And that's why we don't walk in fear. Because I, I'm, I'm like the, 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 the scripture that says, that it, it was Job that said, that thing that we greatly fear has come upon us. So you can walk in fear or you can walk in faith. I'm not saying being foolish. Do what you need to do. Wash those hands. Wash surface down. Wash rails down. Wash yourself. Wash everything down. Uh, but, but do what you need to do. But trust God. Yes. I don't intend to stay in quarantine forever. Amen. How many know you can't stay in three days? How many of you stir crazy already? <laughs> And don't get locked in with some kids, you <laughs> How many of you don't want to homeschool? <laughs> you don't want to do none of that. You don't even want to attend kindergarten. I heard somebody say, I'm just repeating this, it, just, it was funny to me, that they told their kids, because everybody's at home, and so the place that gets a lot of activity is the refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. This one parent said, don't eat another cookie. <laughs> <laughs> don't grab nothing else. Don't go nothing else. You know, we're going to do the meals, and that's going to be it. You can't eat all day. And stuff. But in the absence of the regular schedule, that's what they do. That's why after summertime, we're ready for them to go back to school. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Galatians 6 and 9 tells us, Don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. You have calming grace. Be still and know that he is God. Be still. Calm yourselves. Don't be foolish, but don't be faithless. There is mission waiting on the other side. There's ministry waiting on the other side of this storm. Anybody got somebody in this room that you know or that you've heard of that's in your immediate, your immediate rather, poikos or surrounding of friends and family that has been affected by somebody that's infected. Anybody in the room, if that's you, stand up. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, that's good. That's good. I need you to stand up. Anybody else? Just. All right. I'm going to do this every time because I believe in God. We're going to quit. We're going to settle it. We're going to move on. And we didn't come to stay in this boat forever. Because we're going to get out on the other side. Anybody with me? We're going to get out on the other side. Thank the Lord. I'm going to get out. And I will be presented Amen. alive. Yes, yes. I won't be a corpse. I'm going to be presented 
a lot. Thank you, Jim. So during this time, I'm going to pray for, for, for Jurel and, and Brittany in their situation. Father, we thank you. And we rebuke everything that's coming to hinder. Because the devil likes to get mileage for his strike. So he's not just after Jarrell, he's after Jarrell's wife and the babies too. And so we come against any assignment from the enemy. They belong to you. They are your children. And they are covered by the blood. And so we bleed the blood over their life. Please. That no fever will come up, no cough, no sign, no symptom in the wonderful name of Jesus. So we rebuke everything that is not like you. And we declare your name is named above every name that is named in the earth. And God, we thank you that you hear us when we pray in Jesus' name. We thank you for every, anybody have any ailments that, 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 that are in, on the compromise list, be it hypertension, diabetes, any pre-surgeries, any surgeries that are going to have to be pushed off, breathing problems, asthma, bronchitis, stand. Jesus. 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 See, we can't come together and not do business. 